Hi and welcome back to my channel for another art channeling video. My pages are primed with gesso and I now go in with a little bit of acrylic paint and just add it randomly to the page. Normally I already have some paint on my pages from other projects if they were left over or if I had to clean my brushes on them. And this time I didn't have any paint on this page so I decided to add it just to have something to start with. For me it makes it easier to create when there is already something on the page. I'm using a small dough scraper here that is normally meant to be used in the kitchen and I found a package on Amazon that where I had five of them inside and it was about seven euros. So I thought I'd try them out if they will work for um, our journaling and to replace a brush. And I really love them. They are gorgeous. They are easy to clean. That's the main point why I want to use a silicone brush. And it's much cheaper than the ones you can buy in an art supply store. I do some stenciling. I'm using a makeup sponge together with the Daylo blue color or maybe is it Daylo green I think. And I'm going in with um, the stencil from Stamplorations and the first one I've used was from Stencil Girl. I have linked the video to the top right corner info box of your video screen where you can see how I make my envelope art journals. I decided to go in with some white paint and I just apply it with my fingers. Creating layers on a page or on any artwork increases the dimension and makes it much more interesting. The white space I'm creating here makes also a higher contrast which is even more interesting. While the background is drying, I go through my stash of my jelly printed deli papers and picked one out where I cut some shapes to use them on my page. I use gel medium to glue the pieces down. The gel medium needs a while to dry and I don't recommend heating it with your heat tool and if you do you have to be very careful because it can blow up that deli paper and that will not look very good. And while this is drying I am coloring in my main image. I'm using the Perfect Cat from Rubber Dance and this is 
not really the first time I'm using these alcohol markers from Arteza, but it's one of the first times and I just saw this technique in another YouTube video where you can uh, kiss your blender with the colored uh, marker and then you get that lighter tone of the color and that's a really good solution when you don't have a lighter value. Arteza was so kind and sent the set of 60 alcohol markers, they are called Everblend markers to me and I really enjoy playing with them and I will have another review video of these markers on my channel soon but today I wanted to use them just to color in that cute cat and the kissing technique of the markers works really well I think and it's a lot of fun to, to paint with them um, and to color in the stamped images your blender gets a little bit contaminated with the other color but you can just clean it by scribbling it onto your page. The paper I am using is the perfect coloring paper. It is linked in my Amazon storefront. I really love that marker set. Um, I have to say that I think 60 markers are not enough because there are not enough lighter tones for the colors but as you see you can make the lighter tone just by um, putting the colored marker onto the white blender marker. I'm really happy with the result but I think I need to practice a little more. My background is dry now and I decided to add some text stamp stamping to the deli papers on the page and therefore I'm using the old book page stamp from Robert Dance. This is one of my favorite stamps to create some texture on any background. If you want to see close-up images of my pages you will always find a link to my blog in the description box of the video. Here I'm stamping one of the crazy flowers from Rubber Dance and I'm using Stazon ink as it works best on an acrylic background. I want to have something more going on on the page so I decided to pick one of the doodle borders from Rubber Dance and I stamp it also with black ink and I use also the second and third generation stamping technique to create more depth. I'm using an acrylic fine liner to make the jelly printed deli paper shapes pop even more from the background. And I always get asked where these fine liners are from. Um, it's um, a brand called Lascaux. It's, I believe, a French manufacturer. And I buy the paints in my online art supply store here in Germany. And they have these needle tips for their paint bottles and that's the only fine liner I could find here in Germany but I think that Dino Weekly also has something similar. I added some white acrylic ink splatters to the page and here I'm adding some dark red splatters and I made that ink myself just by mixing acrylic paint with airbrush medium and water. 
I wanted to have some more color on my page, so I'm going in with the Neo Color Crayons. These are the water soluble ones, and they are definitely my favorites. I've cut out the cat that I've colored in before and glue it down to my page and I also add some sentiments. These are words cut from the Mixer Sentiment stamp set from Rubber Dance and I have embossed them in white to black cardstock. And here you can see the finished spread. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Thank you so much for watching and I hope we see us next time. Bye!